Christmas season, when most are roasting chestnuts and singing carols, six well-educated Confederate veterans are meeting in Nashville, Tennessee, to try and create an hierarchical organization working to curb the education, economic advancement, voting rights, and voting rights, and keep and right to keep and bear arms of blacks. We all know that this is a time for action. So I've called this meeting in order to form an organization that has been called for a greater purpose. We need to suppress the blacks. We need to put the blacks in their place so we can continue our way of life. Do you want your daughters marrying blacks? That's a world gone mad! So forth, what do we what do you propose we do? We need to make an example of them, but we cannot let this business get out of control. What should we name this group? The group was dubbed the Ku Klux Klan, and soon spread into nearly every southern state, launching a reign of terror against Republican leaders, both black and white. Suffer from sore gums? Buy Crest toothbrushes, the key to tooth strengthening. Your pearly whites will be stronger than ever. No fear of eating hardtack. Also, for one time only, we will pair your purchase of a toothbrush with signature Washington dentures. So call now. And now for your evening news. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Welcome to History News Report. I am your anchor, Alicia Lovejoy. Today we have live interviews with key players that have witnessed and reacted to the actions of the in infamous Ku Klux Klan. These racist hooligans have panicked blacks across the South with their terrorist activities. We are going to start with a live report from HNR reporter Margaret Fuller, who is in Durham, North Carolina, with a survivor of the KKK's terrorism. Margaret? Thanks, Alicia. I am here with Ben Johnson, a former slave who has witnessed firsthand the violent tendencies of the KKK. Mr. Johnson, tell us a little about yourself. Surely. I was born in Orange County, North Carolina, and was owned by Mr. Gregg. I know nothing about my mammy and poppy, but I seize my own brother's soul. I sit there and I cry and cry, especially when they put the chains on him and carries him off, and I ain't never felt so lonesome in my whole life. I never hear from Jim since and I wonder now sometimes if and he's still with him. So after the war ended, you came into contact with the KKK? Yes, um, I never forget when they hung poor Psy guy. What did Psy do? Oh, he supposedly assaulted some white woman somehow and they came after him a hundred strong. What did they do to him? Drags him into the woods and ties him right there. They cut his arm and used the blood to write a sentence on a piece of wood. Said he'd hang till he was dead, dead, dead. And anyone that takes him, takes down the body will be hanged too. Did anyone try to stop him? Nope, not one. Everyone too scared. His body was sitting there right over the road the next morning. Nobody touched it for four days, swinging into wind. But on the fourth day, the sheriff comes and takes it down. Was this the only time you witnessed the KKK in action? No, ma'am. I see them go get Ed and Cindy after they was told to leave their plantation after the war. They didn't, so the Ku Cluckers came and gets them. They dragged Ed and Cindy over by a frozen pond. It was winter, you see. They whip them good and then throw them into the pond, breaking the ice. Ed swims out and comes to our place, but poor Cindy ain't been seeing the ice since. No one seems to get, get away from the Cluckers, do they? Well, Sam Allen did. The Ku Cluckers came for him and told his wife to kiss him goodbye. They even bring the coffin with him. Old Sam, he kisses his wife, who's crying and crying, that bends down by his bed like he was praying. Then he gets up and has a long knife in his hand. Did he use it? Oh, yeah. Before he could be grabbed, he killed two of the cluckers and ran out the back door. They never catch him, either. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank That's you. all we have time for now. Alicia, back to you. Excellent report, Margaret. Now we will quickly go for an exclusive report from the Executive Mansion where HNR reporter Nellie Bly is with President Grant. Thanks, 
Alicia. I'm here with President Grant, who has just signed into law, into law a very important piece of legisla legislation. Mr. President, can you describe this act? Nilly, I've signed into law the Ku Klux Klan Act. It will give federal government new power to suppress the invisible empire known as the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> what do you intend to do now that this act has been signed into law? My intention is simple. Arrest all those white sheet wearing cowards of the KKK. I intend to destroy this organization at its core, along with the Force Act passed last year to ensure the rights of freedmen, I believe I believe will ensure civil rights to all Americans. Exactly how do you intend to achieve these objectives? Until now, some state militias have been used rather ineffectively to put down the Klan. However, I'm going to use federal troops to round them up. The Klan members will be tried in federal courts where jurors will have blacks on them. And I have already told Attorney General Amos Ackerman to vigorously prosecute these bandits to the fullest extent of the law. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. We do hope you are successful in your attempt to guarantee civil rights for all Americans. Back to you, you in all. the studio, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> that is all we have time for today. For History News Report, I am Alicia Lovejoy. Whee!